if there's one thing the racetrack symbolizes, it's the beauty of competition. It evokes a desire to win, a desire to be the quickest, to be numero owner. This is where races are won, where records are set and in due course broken. So when we headed to the BIC, we went in prepared with our eyes set on one thing only. Now there's one record we at Autocar are after, it's a record set by the Mercedes AMG GTR for the fastest lap set by a production car and we are out to beat that with Narain. Narain the number is 209.8, that's what you have to beat. Are you confident? Yeah, I, spe I, I believe I have a very special car in the Porsche 911 GT3, it's a very track focused car and of course yes, <clears throat> I, I'm very confident that I can go and not only beat it, but uh, uh, you know, beat it by some margin. What was special about the 911 GT3 we had with us was that it's Narain's personal car. But in every other way, it was a stock car. Even running the same set of Pilot Sport Cup 2 tyres it came with from the factory. And while the Merc AMG GTR does have an upper hand over the 911 GT3 in some respects, Narain was confident in his car's ability. This car is 200 kilos lighter. It has 70, 70 or the horsepower less than the GTR, but, uh, but power to weight ratios and engine being where it is in a 911, everything will help. So even though we may be a slightly slower on the straight, we, I'm sure in the corners it's going to be much faster. Setting lap records entails more than just getting into the driver's seat and hitting the racetrack. There are vital factors to be taken into account. The timing of the run matters, as does track temperature. Every little aspect of the car makes a difference, from getting the tyre pressures right to finding the perfect setup. Get it even a little wrong and the attempt could be in vain. So right from the moment he stepped into the pit lane, Narain knew it was possible. And for a record run like this, belief is key. Having reacquainted himself with the Bud's technical layout the previous evening, Narain tuned everything out on the morning of the record run, focusing solely on the task at hand. What followed was a masterclass in precision driving and car control as you shall now see.
gone a full 2.2 seconds quicker than the GTR, Narain had not just beaten the record, he had smashed it. And what was remarkable was the ease with which he did it. I think it's really been quite an achievement and uh, Narain, uh, I, I think you, you've had a blast here and uh, clearly, I think you did it quite easily. There was a little bit more. Could you have done a, maybe gone into late sixes? Well, if I really want to with a new set of tyres, I could. It was quite a straightforward lap, obviously, you know, without all the traction control switched off and uh, the uh, fully sport mode. Um, you know, we do around, you know, 265 kilometers down the straight. Um, uh, the thing with the Porsche is uh, you need to know to get the best out of them laterally. There's a lot of grip for a road car. It was pretty calm, um, calm, and the lap, just, the lap times just um, kind of um, flowed through. Make no mistakes, 2 minutes 7.629 seconds is a blisteringly quick lap time. But that's the thing with records, they don't last. Records are meant to be broken, so Absolutely. watch out.